We are at Costal Guitars headquarters out in Phoenix, Arizona and uh, Jason Costal is about to apply the wax seal to a label that's now going to go into the back of a modified dreadnought in walnut for uh, one of the North American guitars clients. So this is uh, MD number 77 and every label that goes into the guitar hand number and hand sign um, and it's it's just a kind of a way of putting your own personal stamp on things one of the distinct features of any guitar is the label that identifies the maker um, so mine is a pretty simple label it's just got my logo on it and um, I add a wax seal to it um, which I just think adds a little bit of regality to it and makes it look a little bit nicer. So I've used the calipers to essentially locate the label and I've marked off where it's going to go and this is just a basically a scuba diving weight that holds it to shape so that I don't have to worry about uh, the back not being uh, in the radius that I want it to be. And I lay the label on, take the tape off it's nice and centered. I'm just going to push it down, allow the glue to adhere a little bit. So the last step is I have sealing wax. I'm just going to heat it up. I used to use a flame uh, to heat the wax, but the wax will actually continue to burn for a little bit, and one time I, I dripped the wax onto the paper and it started on fire, so I now use a heat gun instead. Seems like a much better way to go about doing it. Once I get the wax to the viscosity that I like, it's pretty much ready to go. I always pour it under the bottom right corner. Give it a couple seconds to set up and let some of the air bubbles escape. And then all I do is take my little stamp, put it right on there. Give it a couple seconds to set up. Make sure there's no bubbles or anything else. And I just kind of gently rock the seal. Looks great. 